Yo, what's good, intelligent gang? Welcome back to Intel Hip Hop. It's another day and more drama in the world of hip hop news. I'm your host, Dual Stacks. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button and notification bell to stay locked in for uploads. So today, we're reacting to the madness around Lex Luger and Waka Flocka. Was their friendship even real? Let's dive into it. So Lex Luger took to his Instagram live and it speaks on Waka Flocka not being the same person he once knew after reaching out to him and not getting a response. But for those who don't know, Walker and Lex Luger were very close in the past, but had a brief issue regarding who started 808 Wave. And according to Walker, he claimed he's the reason, which he stated in a tweet back in 2017, where he said, I bridged the gap between hip hop, EDM, back in 2012. Now look, now that tweet didn't sit well with Lex Luger, and he responded with a Walker Flocka, a Sizzle, a Metro Boomin. I started that ish. Walker don't do that before me was Jeezy and Shawty Red, T.I. and DJ Toon. A hey, Walker Flocka, bruh, you didn't make beats. How you started the 808 wave? Question mark. Hit my phone. G, I'm confused. Now, this was just to give you guys a brief analysis on the history of what's going on. Lex Luger takes to his Instagram. <laughs> Flocka? Man... I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know what's up with Mr. Flame. You know what I'm saying? But one thing's for sure, it ain't the same. It's like, bro, I ain't gonna lie when it was like tweaking out down bad, like heavy on drugs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he used to pick up the phone smiling and shit, like, I'm not gonna lie, for some strange reason, it seemed like people love you more when you down bad and when you broke and when you start to elevate, you know, people feel like you're gonna be changing up, you know, which is true because at the end of the day, you don't wanna go back to a certain lifestyle when you are successful and are going down a certain path. You know, Waka is older now and he's a professor and it's possible that he might've cut off people who are unaligned with his lifestyle currently and probably just grew away from all the partying and all the stuff that he used to do when he was younger and that's kind of what gucci man did when he was released from jail you know he was around the people that he used to be around and now he's just at the top and elevated you know what i mean um and then like now like I've been sending them, like, you know, my properties and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? The properties I invested in. And, uh, I don't hear back from them. Now, then again, you can't really take stuff personal, you know, because people are busy. You know, he's probably busy with his career or whatever he else, whatever else he got going on, you know, which some people might not understand. And what comes with that is a lot of assumptions. So, you know, he could probably just be a little bit patient. Now, it's no telling if Waka is leaving him on red or whatever. And if that's the case, then it's very much understandable. So it's like, damn, like, bro, were you, were you were happy and shit, like when it was up bro like and now it's good like you don't want to say shit or congratulate him, bro that shit hurt for real bro like i thought he was my brother like and then again it's like again there's no telling if he's making these assumptions without even having the conversation with waka it's no telling if he actually did that or was able to do that successfully but you know He's got his own opinion, but for him to be speaking like this is kind of putting Waka in a bad light because now people are going to look at him like he's some type of hater because he didn't get his give him the proper congratulation that he wants. But I'm not going to lie, if you were hanging around a person every day consistently and you kind of looked at them like they were family and all of a sudden, you know, they just kind of like distanced they self from you after leveling up then it's kind of like okay 
they kind of changed up when they came up. And if that's the case, it's understandable what he's saying. They could kind of like raise some eyebrows because it's like, bro, we went from hanging together every day, being through the struggle together, and to not speaking without an explanation, you know. So it's only a lot of assumptions that's going off in his head. And it's not like he's reaching out to him to go to the club, go party, and have him doing like stuff that he used to do in his past. You know, pretty sure he knows where Walk is at in his life. But he said he simply just reached out to him about um, some investments, some real estate, and basically reached out to him on some business ventures type stuff. So, you know, it's crazy. You know what I mean? He put me on, bro. It was love. Like, it's still love. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm just saying when I reach out, like, I don't never hear it back from them, man. It's crazy, but... Mm. It is what it is, gangster. You know what I'm saying? I can't cry or whine about it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, for real. Now, let's read a quote that Waka Flocka uploaded from his Instagram. And it says, Surround yourself with people that push you to do and be better. No drama or mess, just higher goals and higher vibrations. Good times and positive energy. No jealousy or hate. Simply bringing out the absolute best in each other. So, as you can see, Waka Flock is on a different path and he's transitioning to do better than what he did back in his past. And he also put in the caption. This is called hanging with the grown-ups. If you know me, you know one thing. That boy Waka fool. Let us know what you guys think about this. Did Waka change up? Let us know in the comment section. This has been an exclusive message. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.